and welcome to the Cars Land Cup Series here at Cleveland Airport and starting on pole. It uh, looks like um, Shadow Um, but uh, because this uh, track is uh, layout is different, the pole sitters actually Roberto Crown Jr. with Cactus Motorsports. And this is Cactus Motorsports' third consecutive pole. Uh, all three, they're all three different drivers: Cactus King, uh, Caden Williams, and Roberto Crown Jr. And teammate behind him is the only driver for Cactus Motorsports not to get a pole. And this is the second race with everyone with the same ratings. That will be the same way for the rest of the season. Atlanta was the only race that everyone had different ratings. So. This is all by chance. So, um, Berto Crown Jr. starting first, and we're going to go green in about 30 seconds. So, uh, watch out for that. We're going to stay with the cameras here on the race cars instead of going to the pace car. Um, I, I didn't really start this early enough for the lineup. So, we're going to get the engine started in uh, just a couple seconds drivers start your engines and they're gonna roll off in just a bit here uh, yep there they go rolling off of well like it would say pit road there is Roberto Crown Jr. for Cactus Motorsports starting pole on the top here coming into turn one so um, I wouldn't say Shadow Um has the preferred line, but he may get a good start into the corner. And here we go. Green flag at Cleveland Airport. Seven laps. See how this goes as teammate will go to the bottom for the lead, the 24. There goes Shadow Um. He's going to try to make three wide. Not going to happen. The 24 is in the lead now. 24 of Dark X Rain. As Roberto Crown Jr. is going to keep the lead with that run on the top coming into this corner here. Here goes Dark X Rain. He's going to lift a bit into that corner. And he's going to let the 21 uh, pull away there. So, yeah. Let's look at the 43 of Sabretooth, see how he's doing on this first lap. Doing fair as the 20 of... Third and Alexa taking third. Ooh, went way up the track there. Third and Alexa versus uh, Dark X Rain on lap one to complete it. Cactus Motorsports uh, with 24 and the 21 leading the race. And Roach, uh, I believe that's Roach in uh, second. No, that's Shadow Um. Roach is in second. Seventh. So this battle here continuing between the 20 and the 24. And the 24 going to try to clear here. The German Chick 81 winner, Jazz 500 back there. Didn't have a good race in Atlanta. And yeah, still battling for this position on lap two out of seven. between Dark X Rain and oh and the 20 gets uh, scooted down the bottom uh, that's third and Alexa I think and the 21 still has a pretty good lead here uh, so far no one near him shadow I'm the only challenger back there in second let's go back to uh Daniel Pauls Jr. See how he's doing back there. Okay. 
Oh, there's uh, team owner John McFadden almost spun him out there. Drum Chick 81 challenging Roach in the 66. There's Bradley Ream. Hasn't been doing so well. Uh, Ralph Railfane Motorsports hasn't been doing so well in the Carsling Cup Series. And it looks like Bradley Ream, uh, highest running, uh, the team owner, he's in uh, eighth. So that's good. And um, yeah. James the Fish hasn't been making much noise in the series, but uh, he's there, currently chasing Bradley Ream for eight. Then John McFadden uh, back there and just outside the top ten, trying to get past his driver, uh, Daniel Paulus Jr. James the Fish goes up the track there into that corner. We'll keep the position oh James the fish getting aggressive and Bradley Ream trying to hold that position in eighth James fish getting a good run off this corner Goes a little wide there, but he could get some momentum here. If the 40 doesn't block, he does not. He will try to pass him here. There's Dissect, who led a ton of laps at Atlanta and uh, didn't give up with a win, but he had a lot of points towards standing. So, um, see what's. Um, so not much uh, going on in the top 10 here. Drivers are starting to get spread out as the 35 still challenging Bradley Ream for eighth and John McFadden trying to battle his teammate for 10th. Or yeah, teammate, uh, it's John McFadden's team owner for that team. We're about halfway through the race here. So, yeah. And not much going on up front. Uh, Shadow um still two seconds back. And another shot at Bradley Ream here from James the Fish. He's going to go wide here. But might get a good run. Tough to say. There's John McFadden. Oh, and the 86 of Flam gets span around in the back. He is around. Cars are everywhere. Crashes. Uh, Sammy in a box. Gar Salamander. And cautions are off for this race. Um, we'll go back to the leaders with a few laps to go. We're going to need to look at what happened in this incident. So um, we're going to re rear it up here. See what happened. Between Flam here, we gotta keep track of the leaders. Uh, so uh, what happened was it looks like it got underneath Cray Cray Tacos and just went around, and then Sammy and Box nowhere to go, along with Racing Geek, Gar Salamander, Iron Crusader, who and almost clipped the 25. Terrible. Terrible crash there. That's going to be a oof there. Um, might kill some days there. So the 86, not doing too well. Let's check back on Roberto Crown Jr. in the 21. We're back live. And it looks like Shadow Um trying to cut down on that lead. He's uh, back there. Oh, he's trying to cut it down. Let's look at his roof cam as we come to two to go this race is a little shorter than uh, most other races this one going to be longer he's going to try to catch the Virto Crown Jr. here here two to go Shadow on here in second so that's interesting but unfortunate for those guys who got involved in that incident they have to and 
Blam also wrecked uh, near that area in the test session we had here in, uh, I think it was October. So yeah, he's, he actually lost time that last lap, so don't know if he's going to catch him. I think Roberto Crown Jr. may be the winner here, but it's too soon to say it's for sure. We're still with uh, a lap and a half to go, a little under that. And uh, still a lot of good cars up here. Joy Paints got out of that wreck. Gar Salamander has went pit road and repaired his car. Oh wait, no, Gar Salamander is out of the race, actually. He's the only car out of the race. And see him in your box back there. Unfortunate for those guys trying to get a good run and unfortunately got caught in a wreck. So, yeah, as we come to one lap to go here. There's 21, the 8. I, j I think the 21 will win this race. Cactus Motorsports, um, after winning three poles, may come up with a win here. With their other driver, the 24, Dark X Rain, in third. And German Chick 81 in sixth, win the Jazz 500. And uh, last week's winner, Flam, unfortunately got wrecked, I believe, on lap four. So, unfortunate there. That was the only wreck I believe there was. No cautions in this race. I have them turned off because it is a road course. So, um, hopefully they'll do better at Thornton, which is next week. And Roberto Crown Jr. Just a few more corners left, and he is a winner in the Cars Lane Cup Series at this racetrack. Shadow Um has had a terrible start to the season, but with a second place finish here, I think he'll do okay. As Roberto Crown Jr., just a few more corners left, and he is the winner. Roberto Crown Jr., two more corners, and Roberto Crown Jr., coming onto the front stretch, he will win here at Cleveland Airport. Congratulations to him. And uh, let's check out with Sammy in a box real quick. I know he finished the race. And then, um, yeah, unfortunate for them, that team, not a good finish. And Bradley Ream got 10th. That's good. Um, second is Shadow Um, third, Dark X Rain, fourth, third, and Alexa Gaming, fifth, Sabretooth. 6th, Drummer Chick 81, 7th, Roach, 8th, James of Fish, and 9th, Daniel Paulus Jr. Thank you for watching this race. We will see you guys at Thornton.